makes plans to revise the COVID-19 protocols. Today, we continue to follow the suggested protocols for maximum security of the WT community. So it is my privilege to welcome you to a virtual announcement taking place in Old Main, here on the campus of West Texas A&M University. We're outside the new educational spaces of the Where the Learning Continues program that offers higher education experiences to students with intellectual disabilities. I want to begin this morning by introducing those who will address you today in the order that they will be speaking. Dr. Walter V. Windler, the 11th President of West Texas A&M University. Andrea Porter, Director of Extended Studies for West Texas A&M University. Sarah Griffin, Amarillo Area Foundation Grants Program Coordinator, who will be representing the Salentz Foundation. And Ms. Jay Campbell, who is a parent of Kaylee Campbell, who is a current student of the Where the Learning Continues program. I also want to say thank you to our colleagues here on the campus, to the Where the Learning Continues students who are joining us today as part of this exciting announcement. Um, I also want to make sure, and I don't know where she went, Pam, where's Pam Hicks? I want to make sure we introduce Pam Hicks this morning, who is an instructor in the Web of Learning Continuous Program. Very well deserved. The vision of the long range plan WT 125 from the Panhandle to the world casts a compelling vision for what it means to thrive as a regional research university that takes seriously its responsibility to place and citizens, as well as making contributions across the globe. And today it is my privilege and honor to announce the new space into which the Where the Learning Continues program will relocate on the campus of West Texas A&M University. Now you can clap. <laughs> the program at WT is unique in the way it approaches higher learning for members of the Panhandle community who desire to continue their educational experiences beyond high school. More will be said about the space and the program, but you should know that it is no accident that we are relocating the program 
right across the hall from the president, but I'll let him tell you more about that himself. So I want to invite forward now President Walter Wendler. Good morning and thank you all for being here uh, today. I appreciate the uh, opportunity for this uh, virtual announcement uh, and for the importance that where the learning uh, continues. This is a higher education experience uh, that is important to West Texas a and University and even more uh, important, I think, to the extended community. This is a way that we bind West Texas a and University into the Texas Panhandle, and I value that very, very much. This empowering program inspires students to strengthen and continue learning academically, socially, emotionally, and in every way uh, their personal growth and aspirations in their lives. I use the phrase, the heart and soul of the Texas Panhandle to describe WT its purpose, its nature, and its value. This program serves the region and all those who call it home very well. Commitment creates authenticity, and authenticity is an exceedingly rare commodity, yet desired by all. We want authentic relationships, authentic friends, uh, authentic experiences in every aspect of our lives. In the best universities, as in the strongest communities, duties that put people first are of especially high priority for me. These values are a requirement of citizenship and create a sense of purposeful communication in any organization, but especially, especially in a university. Where learning continues puts students first by enabling them to move past high school into a college experience where their learning can continue to grow and develop, but where they can also contribute to the WT community as a buffalo. I am proud of this program and the work that's being done in it. At WT, this means that students can find avenues to belong to something that's larger than themselves a fundamentally important aspiration in every walk of life. Students who are a part of this program experience campus life through various classes, sporting and fine art events, homecoming activities, and opportunities for paid internships, which I think are exceedingly valuable for these students. Buffaloes are herd animals, and we're proud to have the WTLC, where the learning continues, students as part of our herd. They're members with us in this community. Let me close by adding that when the process began to find space for the program and these simple students, my simple request was this. See if we can find space in my building. Todd was right. I wanted to have the WTLC students in this facility. It gives me great pride and pleasure as president of WT to interact with students who helped make this university a special place of learning and living. So, students, all of you, by looking for me to pop in and see how it's going, you'll make me feel welcome, and I appreciate that. Andrea and Pam, thank you for making Where the Learning Continues to be an integral part of WG. We appreciate you beyond measure. And thanks to all of you for being here this day. Thank you. I'm Andrea Porter, Director for Extended Studies at WT, and my office houses the Where the Learning Continues program. It's with great pleasure that I highlight this program because of its unique place at WT's mission to provide a diverse, inclusive, and student-centered community of learners. I may be biased, but our WTLC students serve as model students for the rest of campus. You will not find students happier to be at school, studying for tests, and doing homework than our Where the Learning Continues students. WTLC is a true group of student learners, and I'm proud every day to see them helping and tutoring each other in their schoolwork, 
cheering on each other's successes at tests, and meeting together for school events. In fact, I bet Dr. Windler has never taken a call from a student like I have. Can you please make the summer shorter? <laughs> can you please make the school day longer so I can be on campus more? Have you, have you ever done one of those? No, I haven't. <laughs> they want to be at school, and they will want to be here even more with the new learning space provided by the Slins Foundation. The WTLC program is geared to students whose reading and math level vary from second to seventh grade. These students apply for the program and go through an interview process, and then once they're admitted, they are sent the same letter that admissions sends all other freshmen, and they start school the same day as other freshmen. Our students enjoy the same life experiences too, meeting new classmates and friends, as well as seeing students they knew from high school and on campus as well. A typical day for our students starts in the JPK, where they get a Chick-fil-A and a Starbucks. Then they head to the Hastings Electronic Learning Center to, work, to talk about current events and work with computer applications. At 9 o'clock, students come up to this space and study the same course subjects that their matriculated peers study. And our students are expected to take notes during the lectures, read tests, complete homework, and achieve at their own personal level. At the end of four years in the program, our students cross the stage with other WT graduates to receive a certificate of completion and graduate from West Texas A&M University. For families, this means that the whole family was able to graduate from college. For one of our students, it meant that he was the first to graduate in his family. So you can only imagine the pride a family has when they see their student crossing the stage, and we'll have one of those graduates next week. This new classroom space allows our instructor, Pam, to more closely align our work with the students who are completing degrees. The new equipment allows for an in-depth look into biology, chemistry, and horticulture subject matter, and they use experiments in their science station. In fact, students have already started with horticulture ex um, experiments, and they planted a garden earlier this week. At the beginning of the fall, They'll actually go out, take scientific measurements, analyze the data, and then, of course, harvest their fruits and vegetables. Academics is the main focus at WT, but as stated in the WT 125 plan, we also put great emphasis on the development of the individual and the citizen they are within the community. For intellectually disabled students, graduation from high school can often mean significantly less social interaction, particularly with people with whom they have much in common. But WTLC affords a new experience for students to build a network of peers and friends. Even more, our students are afforded the opportunity to work on campus as well. And we've had students work at the activity center, in campus dining, and at the bookstore. To be sure, the program not only benefits the students in WTLC, but degree-seeking students as well. Partnerships with other departments on campus add a depth of experience and learning for all students. For example, on Mondays, our students go to the Amarillo campus and attend a class with communication disorders majors where our students learn social and communication skills. This integration is a win-win for both programs. Communication disorders students use the experience as a clinical internship, while WTLC students learn social interaction with their peers. And in the fall, we're looking forward to continued and more integration, specifically with a class integrated with degree-seeking students and we continue and look forward to more inclusion in other programs in the future. Our WT students, faculty, and staff provide a safe and supportive environment for students to practice and engage in social interactions, business transactions, and help-seeking behaviors when they graduate. So they are prepared to be more independent and job-ready. The most valuable skills that we can give and instill in our WTLC students is self-advocacy, self-esteem, and confidence, which is what we want for every WT graduate. So this gift from the Slins Foundation will serve to enhance our program outcomes and the depth of the education we provide. And all of us involved with the program are thankful for their investment in our WTLC students. Good morning, my name is Sarah Griffin and I am the Grants Program Officer at the Emerald Area Foundation and I help run their Cooperative Grant Program. And one of the programs is the um, Louise Bauer Slints Foundation, it's an advise and consult fund. And they, in 2019, started a new um, 
well, it's an online application where you can actually apply for funding. And one of the um, highlights of uh, what they like to, to fund is um, direct health care, but post-secondary education and then animal welfare as well. Um, to be honest, this was such an honor to be asked to come to this grand opening um, because honestly, I wasn't sure if I, would, if I would enjoy the tour more or just meeting the students that are going to be using it. They are just wonderful people. So thank you for um, inviting me to be a part of this. Um, uh, let's see. We, um, I think I met with some of the, the grant program um, writers. This was back in, I guess, a few months ago. And they were saying they wanted to develop this, this new classroom. And so when I heard about that um, and brought it to the committee, they were thrilled. And I think the winning point, what was mo most motivational for them in the support of this, was that uh, it was right across the hall for Dr. <laughs> Whittler just to, to know his support of this program. So. Thank you, and keep up the great work. You all are amazing students. I had to turn to Mrs. Porter and ask if I was next. You know. <laughs> and I get to take off my mask. Uh, so quickly, let me tell you a little bit about our journey with Kaylee. You know, about 25 years ago, actually this month, I made a phone call to three big brothers and two big sisters that were in elementary school, middle school, and high school, and got the principal to go get them and say, hey, would you go get someone's over? <laughs> and they, every one of them did, got them on the phone, I said, hey, you got a new baby sister named Kaylee. And they were related and they went back to class. And so then the journey began. At three years old, Kaylee went to ECI, early childhood, for you teachers out there, you know what that is. Pre-K at four, uh, she got to go to her own mother's class at that time, all through kindergarten, all the way through 12th grade, mainstreaming the whole way in education, graduating from Border High School, class favorite, homecoming princess. What a journey. <laughs> what a journey. During that journey, her mother and I and Katie attended several conferences called the uh, National Down Syndrome Conference. And we attended those, and we noticed that there was always a table about higher education, Dr. Wendell. Always a table. And we looked at the different universities across the country that were offering programs and at the same time there was a project going on here that Haley Thompson, Brad Thompson were involved in. It's called the Hayes Project. Lo and behold, we did cheer Texas cheerleading with Haley. We knew Haley. We know Haley. How about that, Miss Tina? And uh, you're looking at four of my basketball players, some of my bowlers and special Olympics on each side of me guys, right? <laughs> All good guys. So, oh, Christina, don't forget Christina. So, that journey began, and then we did the interview process with the WTLC and their program, and we are elated. So let me explain what that has done for Kaylee Campbell, and then she's going to come up there and tell you just a few words, and I'm going to be real quick, Dr. Benjamin, I promise. <laughs> so, Kaylee got to continue her education, because see, from a very early age, she thought college is what she did. Because guess what? Five undergraduate degrees, two masters, and a doctorate from her big brothers and sisters. Her mom and dad also have their bachelor's degree, so we're way down on the low end, totally low. You know? <laughs> but so she thought she wanted to go to college. And uh, she was just expecting. And so when this program came up, she got to interview, she got to go, she got to come in here and continue her education with the wonderful Mrs. Hicks for four years, and some of her fellow students that are standing on each side of us now. But what else did she get? College is about education, right? Academic, social, becoming part of a group. So that's what it did for Katie Campbell. She is a buff through and through, just like her mom. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm a red writer. <laughs> but I'm, I'm also part of Buff Nation, and I am proud to say I'm, I wear the colors and the hat, I go to the games, I support the school, I love West Texas A&M, I love what the staff has done, what they did for our daughter Kaylee, and from Cindy and I, we want to say, especially the guys behind us, Ms. Porter, thank you. Kaylee Campbell, you're a I forgot she's shorter now. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kennedy Campbell, 
you don't want to tell about you and my experience. As a student at DMT in the DMT MST program, I have found older brothers and sisters that have a college education and that always want to have the same experience. I get to leave from Bunker High School in May of 2015. And I started attending the Downtown MC class in the fall of 2015. I became a true bus fan <laughs> while attending the Downtown MC class on campus. I had the chance to continue learning, make new friends. Experience different and college activities. Take free trips. Go bowling. Go to the painting class. A team speech communication class. And get a job. My first job on campus was working in the cafeteria. I got to wear an uniform and be a part of the cleanup crew. I really like that job. I got to see all the cute athletes. <laughs> 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 because I like to see the play. <laughs> I got to wait from them to see them to progress in the spring of 2019, walking across the stage in my cafe gown it was a great honor. I now I work the dirty bookstore. I am thankful to have the chance to learn new skills and see our friends and women wear our great days because I would tell me we're we <laughs> 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 Yes, really. Yes, I love being a part of the Buff Nation. I would like to thank Dr. Wiesler for supporting the MTRC program. This is Porter. You have the vision to make this program a success. It takes. If we're being kind, working for a teacher, we're expected to each of her students always do the best. I am thankful for the very best college experience and then taking the Thank you. Go bus. <laughs> Kelly, I hope you're a member of the WT Alumni Association as an alum of WT. Hey, she uh, is. Good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Uh, in closing, I would like to share with you that as we prepare in the fall to go public with our comprehensive fundraising campaign, one of the opportunities in that campaign is naming the Where the Learning Continues program here at WT. And what that will help do is fulfill a larger vision that has been shared with the program to expand it into a graduate program as well. So there's a great vision, uh, great opportunities here at WT, um, and we appreciate very much your attendance and celebration. We're going to end the formal portion of our program. The classrooms are open. Pam, I didn't ask you this, but I'm assuming the students would be happy to show folks around into the new spaces. Yes, um, as well as, please, uh, also, we want to make sure that the media has an opportunity for interviews with any of those who are speaking today. So, uh, again, thank you for coming. And please, before you leave, make sure you see the spaces. Have a good day. Y'all better get ready, people. Come see your space. Oh, that's true.